Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel in another episode of my Darkness Falls series. So it is the morning of day five. There's the morning bell. So uh, I was really, really productive last night in terms of getting shit done. So in here, we've got our generator bank and five electrical fence posts, which is awesome. And what I should probably do, uh, if I can, is drop in at least a wrench in here. We gotta get a claw hammer. So those are done for now. I also made a tailoring workbench last night and was able to craft a leather duster, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and drop that on. Uh, let's wear you and then we'll modify you. Take that out. And then, uh, where are you here? Modify, toss that in. And then hopefully we can go ahead and wear this guy without too much of an issue. Um, yeah, we may have to make, um, I may have to put a, a point into mod crafting. So let's quickly look here at our skills. We don't have any skill points, but as far as skills go, and I really never did go through this, um, but you know, the more you use a skill, the more it will, will rank itself up. So athletics is just like running around. We're already at 22 archery weapons. We got at nine already, um, mining tools. We've been doing a lot of mining, so it's at 29. Then you've got your skill that modifies that, so this just does more block damage. It's the same thing with, um, where is it here? Blunt weapons, when Pummel Pete, so Blunt weapons is at 13, Pummel Pete's with one, so we get more damage. It's really all it is, it just goes out and modifies stuff. And then in your second column here, you've got all your crafting skills and then skill related perks. So uh, these are things like, so for instance, if, if you don't have the, the um, um, uh, what do you call it, laborer class, you need to make a workbench, you can go ahead and use this, which will allow you to make various workbenches and stuff. Um, and you can spell, sk spend your points here, but then once you get the laborer class, it this goes away. So you have to like, rent, it, it, it was weird. But anyway, um, same thing with scrap tool crafting. We already know that because of our laborer class. Sledgehammer I think is the same thing. So all the things that are highlighter, we have the ability to do. Um, so under here we've got, uh, we should have shotgun crafting. Um, pistol crafting we used already, yeah. Double barrel shotgun crafting, hunting rifle, or uh, yeah. like So we were able to craft certain things. Other armor crafting we read, so we've got that now. Some of it also depends on your level. So we, we could make bicycles if we wanted to. Um, I don't want to make a bike because it's not really not going to help that much overall. I'm better off putting my points in more important things. And then science crafting, this will give us the ability to make tier one mods. So hopefully I can find, like, I can make a cooling mod here. So if we are still a little over wearing the helmet, I can make a couple of cooling mods and drop us down and not have to worry about it. But I think we'll probably be pretty good with just what we have. Okay, so the forge was running last night. We got some arrowheads coming out. Uh, but I'm not going to worry about those for now. Let's drop this into there. Uh, I made a bunch of food too, so we're good to go on food. So cooked chili is actually pretty good. I didn't realize how good it was. Food and water. So we're going to go ahead and use that. Whereas the steak and potato meal is just like food and max stamina bonus. So yeah, I mean we should be good for this trip. We're going to go out to... Uh, you go in there. And we can sell the puffer coat because we're definitely not using that again. We've anything in here we can sell. I don't think we have anything else that we want to sell to them. Yeah, not right now. I think we're good on everything here. Okay, uh, so do you have any quests? Northeast, buried supplies. We're going to take it. You. Well, all right, yeah. uh, it'll be in the desert. We need more sand anyway. Um, but I think tonight I'm going to knock these stairs out. Because the worst case scenario, like we just fill in the windows here, reinforce these doors, and we fight inside here or just up above here on the wall. Um, anyway, yeah, anyway, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I got concrete going here too. We got like, well, 214 done. That's well, not bad. Yeah, we're still a little hot. Good but, morning to my favorite customer. Yeah, I'm your only customer. What are you talking about? Um, let's sell you off. So we've got in here, auger schematic, kind of nice. I don't feel like 
summoning any screamers though because screamers screamer hordes in this mod pack are just insane we're gonna need a wire tool it's one thing we don't have so maybe we buy one today when we come back I gotta remember to do that now we're probably not gonna be pulling off yeah you don't have anything in here either do you I don't have the ability to craft ammo either I don't have ammo crafting so um, lucky goggles are nice Uh, concrete mix. What else do you got down here? You got any cobble? No? Damn it. Shotgun stock. Yeah, nothing there either, eh? Okay, well. Thanks for the business. Yeah, oh wait. Stay uh, safe out there. I'm gonna go ahead and just sell this. I'm not gonna even worry about it. Remember me if you need medical supplies. I will. I'll probably be dying though and be thinking, Jen, why didn't I buy more medical supplies off you? All right, we're taking those with us today because we're probably going to need them. And let's get going. We're going to go to Bob's Wars today. Wait. We're not going to go to Bob's Wars just yet because we never did get a quest off you, did we? One of the main reasons why we showed up here. Um, got any jobs? Northwest Buried Supplies. You know what? We'll take it for better. now. Okay. Be careful. Yeah, and I will. Try not to get yourself killed. Yeah, I do that every day. We might do that, we might not. Probably not. Um, I may cancel both those. We're going to Bob's Boars first. So we said we were going to do yesterday, and I think, overall, that's the best way to do it. Now, I could go ahead and, you know, put a lot of stone in the forge, but um, it takes forever in this mod pack for the stone to uh, craft down. So we're going to forget about that. Actually, I meant to plant these two seeds too, but whatever. Whatever. Yeah, you do you, buddy. So let's get out to Bob's Boars here. Okay, so we're probably not going to do this whole POI. Because I don't think we got the juice to face Gracie at the end of this. I mean, we could waste a whole bunch of shotgun rounds on it. But that's not really why I'm here. I'm here for the supplies. So what we're going to do is we're probably going to do... Um, Bob's Boars. Switch across to Carl's Corn on the roof where all the concrete is. Dig up all that, and then we'll probably bail. We might come down to this floor and do this floor too. Just depends. But I think we we make sure we get all the boards, get all the food. Uh, we get all of the... Um, this kind of supplies. Cobble and concrete, or cement. And then we're probably good to go at that point. I'm still worried about I'm still worried about the horde. I don't know how to handle that. I don't know if I want to try and fight them on the outside wall or give them a path to the inside somehow. It's probably figures it's locked. Like give them a path in and then fight them in the inner compound. I don't know what's better. Like, the inner compound certainly has its advantages, which means they're doing less damage to the outside walls. No boars in there. You got 250. Am I going to be able to take you with one shot? I was not able to take you with one shot. Man, stamina. Oh, you know what we need to do? The next point we need to spend in uh, sexual Tyrannosaurus again. Because we're having problems with stamina. Like, big time problems. We can't have that on Horde Night. Because if we run out of... like, Well, I mean, it depends. If we do a shooter base, then... Ooh, at least we got something. 110% mobility. Nice. Definitely take that. You know me, I'm all about the mobility. Yeah, but I mean, if we get... If we have... Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the uh, the horde base. We could set it up as a melee base. And then have a fallback. 
as a as a gun base, but I don't know. Like in order to do that, I think we would have to have it set up so that they access the. Um, I hear you out there. We have to have it set up so that they access the. Um, the wall. So we'd have to be up on the wall the whole time, right? And I just don't know if that's the right thing to do. Like, we reinforce one spot of the wall, and most likely what'll happen is they'll break through, like if they spawn at the back of the building, and we're defending the front, they're gonna break through the wall rather than coming around. So they'll break through the wall, and then come through the courtyard, and they won't be attacking us from the front. We have to give them a way to get to us, so that would mean I would have to leave the front building open, like the front door open. And the problem is, is that front room, or the front uh, entranceway, is all iron. Which means I'm going to have to spend a long time mining iron to upgrade all that, so they don't bring it down. I just don't know. It's not... Like, I've been thinking about this whole trader idea, like trader base idea. Trying to determine which traders would be the best trader to, to set up a base in. And honestly, out of all of the traders, I think it's um, Trader Joel, the guy with the wooden, like the small wooden base. Can I not reach him? I can't reach this thing. Oh, you know what? I keep forgetting that you can... There you go. <laughs> you can just crawl in here. Excellent. Let me just crawl out. Nice. Oh, we got some stuff back there that we missed. So yeah, I mean... You know, that it could work. Let's close this door. We're not guys coming up behind us. Um, like, it could work that way. I think for the long term, though... I think we need to have the walls just being for the guards with no access from the ground up. Have them at least double or triple thick walls. Is that a horde? No, I think it's just... No, it's... One or two idiots. Let's go out there. We're not in a quest, so... No big deal. We've got a lot of resources already, too, so if we needed to leave here, we could. Where are you guys? Now, do they know... Is that considered a stealth hit? I don't think it is. Oh, for Christ's sake, he keeps moving just as I launch the arrow. Hey, asshole. Wow, I'm like totally missing this guy. Stay down. What's up, Mo? Still alive. Now he's not. Excellent. Yeah, this mod pack is very hard to, like, not gain levels. Like, if you wanted to stay low level through this thing, it'd be very tough to do. Just because the sheer number of zombies that are around. Shocked that you didn't do anything. Normally this pig up here is the one that, uh, goes crazy. All right, well, let's see what we got in here. We know this POI, so let's do it. Okay, let's scrap you. Getting a fair amount of uh, nitrate powder. Which is good, because I was only able to make two farm plots last night. And I planted... I took out the... I took out the... Um, we had two yucca and we had two goldenrod. 
I took out the goldenrod and replaced it with chrysanthemum uh, because the chrysanthemum will let us make red tea eventually. That's nice. And then um, the red tea will give us the ability to uh, reduce our... Uh, like, it'll give us efficient, like food efficiency. Which will be a good thing. Alright, crap. When we're dropping real fast here. Dropping real fast here. Alright, let's clear these guys. I think it's just boars here. I don't think there's zombies on this side. That is a big boar, I think. This is a small one. So we should be able to just like pop you and then hit you and then you'll freak out. And we can finish you up. Excellent. Yeah, man, we're going to have meat for years. Yes. Just so you know, if you decide to play this mod pack, that's buggy as hell. So, sometimes, like, this works great when you're just going through, like, a one-block opening. But if you decide to stealth and then try to take on stairs, or on a ladder, I mean, um, you end up shooting up way up in the air. You're not actually in the air. There's our skill point. All right, let's go ahead and put it into sex racks, because, uh, damn. I should show you. You're not actually in the air. You just look like you're going up in the air when you're trying to stealth down a ladder. And then um, it freaks you out because then you think you're going to fall from up high. But you're not really up high. If you just actually press the, your arrow and just like look down, you actually continue down the ladder from where you left off. It just You just think you're way up in the air. Oh, that's nice. I almost broke a medical pile. I don't want that, but I'll take it for now. Do we find something better? All right, what's in here? Yeah, so that, I mean, our horde base, I don't know, like... I think overall, like, if I was given all the time in the world and all the materials in the world, I think Jens is probably not one of the best ones, but one of the better ones, I think. But I still think if you're starting from scratch, then I think Trader Joel's is the best. And he's the guy with the small um, one with the, the kind of open walls and the barbed wire all the way around it. I think his is the best trader base for um, making a fortress out of. It's got a small footprint. Walls that are easily upgradable from the very beginning. Let's take that. And, um, because you can just quickly put stuff underneath them. And then, you know, the guards are low enough that they get a really good trajectory on any zombies approaching. I think there's a guy behind these hail bales, but I'm just... want to be careful here. Nope. Good to go. All right, we're pretty much done this side. We just need to go up a little bit. So yeah, and then I think the next one would be Trader Wrecked. Because once again, his footprint is pretty small. Let's repair that. So his base footprint is pretty small. Um, so you would probably be able to fortify that relatively quickly. And then Jen and Bob... And, well, Hugh, I'm not going to talk about to the end, because he's like, that's a really bizarre one to deal with. But, um, Jen and Bob both have relatively large compound and lots of wall to deal with. So, which way do we go now? This way, right? Now that's the, oh, we never did do this room, did we? Yeah, so Jen and Bob, I mean, Jen's is probably easier than Bob's. 
Um, simply because um, she has nothing around the walls other than just wall, right? Yes, the walls are really high too, like they're, they're four blocks high. Um, but you can easily make Trader Bob's four blocks high as well. Doesn't start that way, but you can easily make it that way because the guards are up at least over four blocks. Um, but I don't think them being up that high is a, a very good um, vantage point from which them for them to shoot zombies. I think the lower you are, the better trajectory the they're, they're gonna, guards are going to get against the zombies. Um... And we'll drop that. And of course the better trajectory on the zombies, the more bullets that land. Right? So, yeah, I just don't, I'm not convinced that those two are going to be any good. Um, like, with gens, I think we need to somehow try and get um, the zombies to get up to relatively guard level before the guards will really be effective on them. In order to do that, that we need to give them a pathway past the guards to get to me, but not have the guards accessible for them, right? Which is going to be difficult in itself. I don't know how I'm going to pull that off, given the walls the, set up the way they are, right? Excuse me. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to see. Nobody in there? This place is pretty quiet. I mean, it's good for me. Lots of resources, that's for sure. We're always to where the conch, all, all, most of the uh, cement mix is, which is great. That's what we're really going for. Take that for the springs. We need it for cement mixers. Okay. Right, now this is where all the boars are. Right, so this is pretty quiet up here too. So we'll take this apart. So I mean, the other way to do it too is to not worry about the center, like the main walls of Jen's place, but only worry about the, the corners and the center spot between the, like, between each of the corners on each of the walls where all of the, um, uh, like the like the uh, the center wall guards are sitting. I'm just casually talking about board base while I murder pigs here. Um, because then we don't have to worry about fortifying the entire like all the walls. Well, all we have to do is all we have to worry about fortifying is the corners for the guards. And then we build the horde base in the center, so we're basically allowing the zombies to get into the compound. Uh, and we fight them when they're in the compound. You know, giving them access to get to us, which we would be up, you know, a little bit higher. So at least, if, I, I don't know if the guards can turn around and see zombies behind them, but I think if they get some kind of perception check against them, and they see them, they will actually be able to fire even though they're not looking right at them. Not 100% sure how it works, so... That's why I'm kind of worried about the horde base. Like, if I set it up so that the, um... The guards have got a good shot against the zombies, then I know they'll take the shot. But if I don't set it up that way, and figure the guards are going to be able to take a shot, and they don't shoot, then I'm screwed. Right? Because then my firepower is gone. I mean, ultimately, it's we're going to go with turrets and stuff, right? We're going to have um, we're going to have the uh, SMG turrets and shotgun turrets and stuff set up to defend the base. I want to I want to leave the defense of the base mostly to remote, and then just deal with whatever gets to me. You know, that's kind of my goal. And then, of course, it'll be a lot different once the once the hordes start. When we start cranking the hordes up, you know, then it'll be, you know, a lot more than will be getting to me, and then we'll have to deal with them at that point. But then we should have enough firearms and, and ammunition and guns by that point, you know. But we'll see. I, like, I don't know. It's nice not having 
people to comment. Like, I mean, I, I, I want you guys to comment and let me know what you think, what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. But like I said, it'll be nice to be able to play the first seven days and just try to let me puzzle this out and see if I can figure out what the best way to go about this is. Because like I said, I don't really know how it's going to turn out. We got a zombie right here. Is it just the one? Probably. I think it's probably, my, because my game stage is so low, there's probably so few zombies in here. But yeah, I'm enjoying the fact that I need to puzzle this out. So this is day five. We'll have a lot of materials here. I think we, once I finish this room, I think we don't go downstairs. I think we go and do the uh, uh, White River supplies closest to us. Because that will let us dig up a bunch of sand. And we're definitely going to need sand to make concrete. I can get stone down below. I can get iron down below. And we're going to need a ton of iron. I know there's, uh, there's stuff up here too. Let's just nerd pull it up. Uh, of course. That's angled, so if we just go ahead and break this out. And that. Should just be able to do this and this. This and this. There we go. Take this out, and then there's a gun bag back here. Come on, something good. Well, stuff to sell. All right, we're just gonna head and scrap this guy. Got a hundred iron arrow tips crafting back at the base. All right, let's get out of here. That was a good run. So what do we get out of that? We got 1,500 uh, concrete and 800 of that. So we don't need the paper. I'm gonna scrap these because we can make those. All right, let's just use this now. Don't need that. Definitely don't need that. All right, that lightens us up a little bit, I think. Now I could sneaky loot Gracie, but like I said, I'm not gonna be doing that because I wanna do it relatively fairly. The POIs I know I gotta go through the way they were meant to be gone through. Okay, so we got the thing right over here. You know, if I wasn't forcing myself to go in the trader, I would turn my horde base into that. Like, that would be my horde base right there. That was um, one of the first horde bases I made quite a while back. Because that's, that's steel. Like, like that's 10,000 hit points all the way along there. And the base is concrete. All you have to do is just make sure you do it structurally properly. But take all this out, reinforce all this with concrete, build it up around the outside, and build your house up there. That's what I did. It was it worked out fantastic. Of course, I died against the horde because I didn't have it, the base quite set up po properly. But it was it was it was like a sixty four zombie horde, so it was uh, we lasted fairly long, like a f half decent amount of time until they actually got up to us. And that was when the zombie stacking was really uh, taking off. They would get on each other's shoulders and attack you. Now it's commonplace, but back then it wasn't. All right, let's go ahead and dig this up. It's interesting to see the block damage slowly going up the more your skill actually improves. So my, my skill just went up one point in, uh, in mining. And I was doing 60 damage to the blocks, now I'm doing 61. So it's nice to see that it just, those little increments start to make a difference, you know? All right, there we go. Took me a little longer than I expected, but that's fine. We needed a ton of sand anyway, so we got it. I basically just shaved off the top of this, and then uh, once we got close to where it was, just dug down, and there it is. Just going to dig this out in case we fall in here by accident later on. All right, we got 1,200, so almost enough. We do have a bit of sand left at home. Actually, you know what? I'm going to grab a bit more before we grab this. And then, uh, oh, is we broken already? We's broken. All right, well, that's good enough. Let's get this up and ready to go. 
Let's get this out of here and get out of here. Ooh, eight first aid bandages. Grandpa's moonshine, lamb rations, antibiotics. That was a good one. That was well worth it. I'm not going to mess with the zombies. We're just going to head back. What is this? Oh, come on. Kill him. I brought a, uh, brought some bandages. Yeah. Where are you going? Don't go. I got bandages. Don't die. Keep you alive. Alright, see ya. That's all I can do for you. I'm not following you around the whole day. Alright, we got enough corn now to make a corn seed. Which is good. Oh, this is a... You know what? They updated this POI here. Oh, you heard me. What's up, you? This is the one I used to get... Yeah, you can, I don't know if you still can, though. I don't think you can put down a land claim block and get these, uh, the blade traps, but you used to be able to put a land claim block down in this, uh, POI and pick up the, um, the floor, the four blade traps. And then these things have got steel in them. Now I gotta just wrench them apart. I'm not gonna, not gonna do it now, obviously, but that's for later in the game. We could probably do that. All right, here's the trader here. Before we go in though, I'm going to go around back real quick. I want to plant these apple trees, or apple seeds. From what I understand, they take a while to grow. Maybe I'm wrong, but let's get them planted. That orange tree is growing over there too. So let's put you down here. Turn this one a little bit. Put you here. Let's break you down. Get some oranges. Banana trees up over here. Let's head in. Turn this quest in. And then uh, think about what we're going to do with the base. Another wonderful morning in the apocalypse. It is. And it's How raining, too. You? It's raining. All right. Let's uh, sell you that and that. And I think this is what? Yeah, the melee damage. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that. I know you think I'm crazy. I just, I don't know. I find those kinds of things a little cheaty. But, whatever. Even the candies I found a little cheaty. Um, yeah, so wait. Did your... Yeah, you restocked, right? We checked you, didn't we? We did. You got Grandpa's Awesome Sauce, which you don't need right now. Eat stew. I mean, we could buy food, but... Um, nothing there we want. Oh, yeah, we were hoping for shotgun rounds, weren't we? Yeah, nothing. We got one more shot at it. Now All right. that was a good deal. Yeah, was it? Didn't seem like it. I'm a doctor. Uh-huh. I don't know what happened to our snare trap. Somehow it got destroyed or just maybe one of the guards shot it by accident or something. I don't know. Alright, let's get this stuff dropped off. Okay, let's get down here. Actually, should probably eat before I get down here. So I'm getting a little hungry. Got a little bit of food here. Gonna have to, like, step up our food game here, because we're really hurt hurting for food. I mean, we got lots of meat now, but that's not gonna help us if, like, we don't have anything to go with it. Um, I can make corn seeds. Actually, let's see how many more... Um, Let's make a uh, corn seed. Actually, can I make... I think I can make more in here. Yeah, I can make twice as many in there. Beautiful. So all I need is two, right? We have two potatoes? We've only got one. I don't think we can make carrot seeds yet, though. Yeah, I don't think so. No, not yet. That's fine. Did that not go in there? It did. Okay, so nitrate powder. We've got a bunch now. So 
So let's make clay. Uh, you. How many can we make? Six? Let's craft six. Okay, you can go in there. For crafting six, let's get the chrysanthemum, I think, is important. Two, four. Coffee, and then we'll... Yeah. Sure, we can always remove it if we don't... Uh, actually, can we make... Let me think about this. Oh, wait, we got two more corn. We can make one more corn seed. Probably more important to do it that way. Uh, corn seed, craft, okay. So, we want to go downstairs. Figure out where that's going later. Can make those later. I'll just hang on to them for now. Alright. Figure out what we're doing here. So, we can go ahead. Let's go ahead and put you in there. Pull you out of there now. Um, like this thing right here. 10,000 hit points. You know, it might make a nice foundation to the center of the base. Like maybe we get them to come in this way and then build something up to here. And this would, this would be the center platform from which we put, make our base run off of. Because I don't know, uh, maybe the guards will shoot down on into the courtyard. We'll need to reinforce this so they don't knock this down and this thing comes collapsing down. Um, let's go ahead. I mean, it's probably bad for me to be like laying these out here right now. Because I got a feeling the zombies are going to like... They may rip through these, I don't know. If they do, we, we rebuild them. We got two days. We can always pull the crops off of them. I never did get the last uh, corn seed. Put this down for now. Uh, we can always pull the crops off of them. So yeah, we take out this stuff. Like if we take these two out, that one and that one. And this will be attached here. We take this one out. And these two. One, two, three, four. And then these other five should just drop. So we, that'll, half of our, that'll be half our workload here. We collapse it. Do the same on that side. Collapse that side. So now they can't get up here other than breaking into this place. But then if we barricade the doors on both of those sides, they shouldn't want to get into here. And even if they do, there's the crickets. Um... Like they won't be able to... Like if, I build a, if I build my base here and take this out, then they shouldn't get to me. Like, they're going to want to come up the ramp that I build for them here in the courtyard. Because there's no other way to get to me. Like, they can't get to me from there. So they have to come up the ramp to me. At which point in time, they'll be high enough that I think the guards will be able to see them. And if we build the electric fences into it, then they should get electrocuted, be held in place, the guards should shoot them, theoretically, and, or at least give me a chance to shoot them, you know? And as long as they don't take out the, uh, the walkway up, then we should be good. So let's take these out. I'm probably going to rebuild my farm in the uh, park across the street there, or just over from us, behind us, at some point, but for now I'm going to leave it here. Knock that down. Nothing, huh? Alright. We're going to knock this one down too, but we're going to start on this side. Here. Alright, let's get up here. Yeah, we could easily, like this would easily work out as a great base up here. Like horde base that is. Like it would... With the solid base like that, it's usually what I build anyway. It's a little thinner than what I usually make. I usually make mine a 7x7. Seven seven. This is a 5x5. Five five. A little iron survived. But that's fine. I mean, we can we can just build off of this for now. And then we, we'll refine it later on. 
Like once we have more time to really build the centerpiece here, then we can worry about that. Maybe the first two hordes we hold up here, probably. I don't know if this is hollow either. Like I don't know if this is like a solid block under here or if it's just this outside. The, the zombies aren't going to get through it on the first night anyway. At least they shouldn't. If they do, they're miracle workers. Alright, so... Um, three more of these guys. Just drop them down for now. This is probably going to get completely destroyed come Horde night, but whatever. Uh, and then we just make it come up this way. We can remove... Actually, I'll leave that in to see if it, anything happens with it. But, like, if we do... I think we want to make it easy for them. I was thinking about having them jump up, like use blocks and have them jump up one at a time. But I think if we make it easy for them, they'll be less inclined to hit blocks down here and more inclined to climb up. And then once they get up, like I can make it too wide here, like there and there, with one block variance. We build the stairs up. It'll be five high. So, like, that's the start of the stairs. So, two, three, four, five. So, this would be where the walkway would be. And then... We can make this solid, too. I mean, I guess... I don't know if I want to make it solid, though. I think the more room they have to run around and be crazy like. So that puts them at my level. Right? And then the walkway that basically tells them, hey, come on over here because this is where I am. You want to fight me here? Probably right there. Right? This goes up two, and then it narrows to one up here. So they ha they're they okay to get up to the... Like, they're not going to be impeded going up the stairs. They won't be bumping into each other because the stairs will be too wide. Two blocks wide. They'll get up the stairs. Then up here, we'll narrow it. If they bump into each other and fall off, then they're, like, there's not really... They're less inclined to bang on anything down here, I think. And if they do, they might bang on this, or they might bang on this down here, but so what? All right, let's get another... Um, 50 frames. Let's go ahead and put in the kind of how I want this. Most li most likely we'll ha we can have this upgraded to uh, concrete. Like that. And then we do oop, we do that on because we need that. Uh, we do this guy. And we go advanced. Like this. Right? So they come up here, and then they're going to, like, fight each other to get along here. They'll probably knock some... Some of them will either go up and fall right off or whatever. Some might run along here and fall off. We set up our wire fence across here. Like, one in front of where we're going to be, which is going to be right here. The only problem with this base is there's no, like, backup plan. It either works or it doesn't. And then if we have to bail out, then what do we do? We're running around. Like, what we should do is be able to just have a place that we can get across this way. And then our plan B is staying up on there. Then they're going to try and break in. We could save our, like, our throwables for that moment. So if this base fails for whatever reason and they do start to break in, then we jump across to there, save our throwables for if they try to try and break in these doors. Or if they're banging on Jen's place over there, we just throw like a Molotov or something down over there. So we have to have the ability to throw stuff from here. Like this will be blocked up so that they can't get to us. But I should probably do it so I can at least see down.
You know, because if they're down there, I want to be able to shoot them. So maybe the... Ah, then I gotta worry about spider zombies too, right? Um... So we do that. Let's go shape. And grab you guys. Like that. Just to make it look good. So they can't see me from here. Even if they're coming up, they really can't see me. Well, they'd probably be able to see me from here. Okay, let's get some stairs. Uh, you guys. And then... Simple. Start getting this into shape here. And then we do... That. That. That and that. Then we do shape. Uh, oh no, we need to keep it this way because I think we need to go one more here. this so no matter where they fall and those will be the, the angle ramps like the corner pieces so that they can get back up the stairs it's sort of the standard layout standard bottom stair layout right like that here here and here and we'll put more up along here once we once we once I'm able to fill this in. We'll do that afterwards. We gotta get the base to cobble. I think I'm only gonna go to cobble on the stairs. Cause if we need to take it down, then I'll be able to do that. And then what we do is we leave the door open, the front door, so they don't wreck it, so I have to replace it. If they blow through the walls, they blow through the walls. Not much I can do about that. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get this started, get it upgraded. Um, and then when I'm done that, I'm going to start taking down the stairs that go up to the upper levels here. Start with the iron stairs. They're going to take the longest, I think. Then this concrete ones inside won't be too, too bad. Got a wandering horde. Scared the hell out of me. The good thing about this base, too, will be, like... I don't know where they went to. Oh, there they went. Started running off that way. Yeah, see, he's hitting the sign. So we gotta break the sign out. Yeah, now he's shooting down. Where are you shooting at, though? It's this guy shooting here. So it's going to be interesting on Horde Night to figure out where they're shooting. Who are you shooting at, though? There's nobody over here. there is. So they clock somebody. I guess they shot him. There we go. Yeah, it was that guy. 
I guess they saw him, they shot him. And then... They lost sight of him, but they kept shooting because they figured they could hit him. Oh, come on, man. That's what I mean about having to maximize the guards in their line of sight. Why can I not hit this guy? See ya. What I will have to do, though, now that I'm thinking about it, okay, you didn't shoot each other. Yeah, you got shot by you, probably. That's interesting. So, you getting shot by your own guys. Is there some way I can get that to not happen? Maybe like put a, like a block in here that stops them from shooting each other. All right, we gotta take this sign out. Anyway, I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. I got some thinking to do. Um, because we don't want the guards shooting each other during Horde. These guys are all fine. How are you doing? You're okay. So it's just probably these two here. So if we put, like, blocks in here. Yeah, it's not going to work that way. i got to take this out. Or maybe, no, yeah. Or we just put something here, maybe. Just so that when they kind of pivot. What I have to worry about is if this guy clocks a gu clocks somebody and starts shooting this way. And I'm right there. So I gotta think about that. I don't want to restrict their line of fire either. So... Maybe I just back up if they're shooting that direction? How would I stop that though? Like... There's no way for me to stop them shooting this direction. But hopefully if they see people... Like, from here, they'll kill them on the stairs here before they even get to me. Hopefully. I mean, the other thing to do, too, is just to put, like, something, like, right here. You know? So that it's only blocking part of their vision where I am. Like a post or something, like, right against here. That's something I gotta be aware of, too. Ah! Okay, I'm ending the episode, guys. I'm going to get this updated, and I'll see you all tomorrow.